Hello, this is Dean Phoenix with part two of my capturing walkthrough uh, about how we do the actual capturing for all of the areas in the game, which is essential before you move on to start maxing and you need 10 of each enemy to unlock Nemesis. So as we discussed last time, uh, the early areas are pretty easy and they're a good opportunity to be able to raise anima stats by having distill mana uh, for raising her MP and distill speed for raising her agility because you get lots of spare spheres that you're not going to be using because you won't be getting these sphere levels from the early levels, uh, early areas like Kilika and things like that. So you'll not have the sphere levels to use any of the minor spheres or speed spheres so you might as well get them all and then raise anima stats. Now you can also, whilst you're doing uh, Kilika, I'm not even going to cover Kilika properly because there's only four enemies and it's only one area so it's extremely easy to capture them all. But whilst you visit Kilika and also Jose later you can return and do the trials and you can get different spheres so there you can get a Lux Sphere uh, and an Accuracy Sphere, things like that. So uh, the Lux Sphere, you can use the Fortune Sphere from Xanakins, you should have one spare uh, and raise Tidus' Luck by another four, so that's useful and uh, those revisiting the temples gets you a little jump when you're coming to do the stat maxing. Me and High Road, there are three areas, so there's the one between Luca and the uh, Travel Inn, so if you travel, go to the Travel Inn, uh, then you go south towards Luca, there's a bunch of enemies there, so capture ten of everything there, and then they're uh, in the north of the Travel Inn going towards Mushroom Rock Road, uh, there are a couple of different areas as well. So there's dual horns and bombs, and as you can see there, we're using Riku with her SOS haste armor and uh, deliberately knocking her out in the first battle so that she can quickly rack up hills. And also, with her having distill mana or distill speed, you can alternate between those capture weapons. You can see Anima's MP is already 394, so we've raised that almost 200 already. Um, and so you don't have to even do this for all of the areas, you can just do it in a couple of areas and raise Anima's MP which will make farming magic spheres from Jumbo Clan a lot easier. Now you see here uh, the enemy on the left there, uh, Iperia. I was, uh, I'd actually caught 10 of everything and only 6 Iperia because it's only found on the southern section of the high road. There is a bit of crossover between Mushroom Rock Road and the Mian High Road, so you don't have to catch 10 of everything in these southern areas uh, because you can catch some of them in areas of Mushroom Rock as I'm going to cover here. Now at this save point you might think you can go to Mushroom Rock Road like you did in the normal game. Do not do this in the HD remaster version because the Dark Major Sisters are waiting. If you go close enough to those two women there they will trigger the Dark Major Sisters. Now this makes it problematic for the Mushroom Rock Road because just past them is the area you want to be for doing your Mushroom Rock capturing. So what you need to do instead you just need to go back to the airship after you've done your most of your Mian uh, road capturing. So uh, if you've done 10 of everything from the southern area of the Mian high road, um, then you can travel to Josie high road and then you go south from there instead. So you actually travel to Mushroom Rock from Jose to do your Mushroom Rock training and capturing. And you can actually, in this area that I'm about to show you here, you can actually capture quite a few of the fiends from the Mian High Road South area as well. Uh, that South Split. So you can see here that you uh, cross over this little bit, and uh, here you're fighting enemies from Mushroom Rock, so the basic Mushroom Rock enemies. But a little bit further down, you'll also uh, find an area where you will be able to fight the enemies from the Mian High Road, that southern branch of the Mian High Road. So you can do both bits and finish off the Mian High Road capturing here as well and fight the enemies like um, Iperia. So that is useful to remember. Now I just locked out Riku then so that she would be revived with 1 HP and be able to use the um, SOS Haste and get her all of the kills from capturing. So this area here you can see this is actually the same set of enemies, uh, one of the same sets of enemies that you can fight on me and High Road so you can finish your me and capturing there if you haven't already. Uh, so like for example here that is not the dragon area uh, enemy for Lamashtu which is Mushroom Rock Road, it's Vauvoir which is the one from me and High Road. So you can finish your bits of me and High Road if you're missing some of the fiends here and then carry on and do the Mushroom Rock Road capturing in a minute. So you see here um, you get the same thing as well, dual horns and bombs, so again these are Mayan High Road enemies. So you can finish off those and then go and um, 
there is a screen just south of this and before you get to those two women who trigger the Dark Major Sisters encounter, uh, on the left hand side of the screen there is the area and you will head to where you fought the Sin Spawn with Seymour in the regular game. Uh, that, enemy, that area there is where you want to do most of your mushroom rock capturing. So uh, you can see here there is also this little area here as well uh, which is an area that branches off and assuming that you got the celestial mirror before you started doing your capturing uh, you'll also be able to swap the rusty sword that you got from the Kamlan, uh, the Kamlans, the cavern of the stolen faith gorge and swap that rusty sword and uh, use the celestial mirror to allow Orin to get his celestial weapon Massamoon. Uh, so that's really good to do as well. Make sure you pick that up while you're here. Now like I was saying, uh, just to the south of this area uh, you will see the same two women that I showed on Mian High Road uh, who would trigger the Dark Major Sisters fight. So you want to avoid them and before you get to them you, there is a branch uh, off to the left and it takes you to that area with the lift where you had the uh, operation where the Crusaders tried to take out Sin. And that area there, the screen near the top and near the lift is where you want to do your mushroom rock capturing because that is where you will encounter Garuda who are the flying enemies and they're the rarest uh, of the mushroom rock enemies. Now here you can see I've got SOS that SOS haste it's just a random SOS haste armor I picked up for Riku and so I'm using that and I'm also just adding a MP stroll to it so that I can mug enemies if I want because that's useful in Bikinel later on. Now this area is the uh, Jose High Road and uh, this particular area here uh, you'll notice that I just fought a flying enemy as part of that trio called Simurg. Now Simurg is by far the rarest enemy on the Jose High Road so you want to capture 10 of them first if possible. Now if you get into normal encounters on the road in any of the shaded or shadowed areas you can see here that you just fight normal enemies. Um, so what you need to do is, and this is not a superstition or a myth, this is actually part of how the game works, is these areas of sunlight, so there's a small area of sunlight there, and then there are some bigger areas of sunlight up here near the top of the road. This is where you want to do your capturing because Simurg, the enemy at the top, the flying uh, enemy there, the bird enemy, condor type, uh, they are the rarest enemy and you'll need 10 of them to unlock Nemesis. So do all of your capturing for Jose here until you've got 10 Simurg and the rest of them you should just get um, as just as part of the natural encounters whilst you're looking for Simurg. So get your 10 captures here and then you see here the branch in the road. The branch up to the top left is the path that goes to Moonflow and Moonflow is where you want to capture your 10 Ochus. So on Jose you want to fight on this uh, sunny area here until you've got 10 Simurg. Capture the 10 of the rest of the enemies which we'll probably do whilst you look for the Simurgs and then head to the north branch here, the branch at the top left of the screen and then capture your 10 Ochus. So that's another three er easy areas down. You can use the excess spheres that you get, uh, mana spheres and the speed spheres to be able to raise animus stats as well. And this is just another couple of areas down before we move on to Macalinia and Bikinel. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos for my Final Fantasy X walkthrough and Witch 3 content. Thank you.